Now in this day and age, there is such a thing as building relationships through the internet, right? It started with a Friendster, where there became these social networks that uh, created an opportunity or a community where people could, you know, connect with each other. Then we had, then MySpace came along and Facebook. Anyone here on any of those Twitter? Anyone of you on Facebook or Twitter or MySpace? Come on. Great. That's a lot of you. That's a lot of you. Okay. Good. So I just wanted to spend five minutes today to talk to you about how not to misuse and how not to abuse these social networking sites. Several months ago, although I'm not very, uh, very, uh, very comfortable with, you know, the internet or anything that has to do with technology, I decided I was going to do something new, which was open up a Facebook account. Okay? And because I didn't know how to do that, I asked my daughter to do that for me. Thank God for daughters. And so, but what I wanted to do was really experiment and learn how people were using these social networking sites. The moment I opened up my account, I, I, I searched for QuestNet. And I got shocked at the information I saw on some of those Facebook pages. There were a lot of if I, I myself thought, you know, some of those looked so official, I was tempted to call JR and say, Hey, JR, does QuestNet have a Facebook account? Because it looked so official. But when I started reading the content of, this, of these Facebook accounts, it dawned on me that there were a lot of misrepresentations on these accounts. And that's a worry. That's a problem, guys. Remember, Attorney Nera was talking about how the regulatory bodies will not look at what we put on paper, but will look at what people do out in the field. Yes? The thing about the internet is you can post any information over there, correct? And it's a great tool in terms of getting information. But it needs to be, we need to be able to put out the right kind of information. And so the reason why I'm talking to you about Facebook today is for two things. One, use Facebook, Twitter, you know, MySpace. Use these, you know, uh, social networking sites as proper tools. Because they can be great tools for you in building your business. They can be. I have learned that through the months that I've been doing this quietly, slowly, didn't tell anyone about that I was on Facebook, you know, just let it grow organically, okay? And so today I have, I think, 180-something friends. <laughs> but here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing. Facebook, Twitter, they are great relationship building tools they are not prospecting tools they are not tools where you could talk about the bio disc hello where you could talk about you know the business that's not the way to present the business that's not the way to get prospects are you with me but it's a great way to let people know, to let the people you have in your circle know, have a glimpse of who you are. What makes you tick? What are your interests? What are your values? Because once they get to know who you are, what do they say? The more you know a person, the more you trust the person. Yes? So the more you... you use that as a tool to let people know who you are, the stronger the relationship you'll be able to build with a wider, much wider group of people. Okay? 
Are you with me? So please don't put status updates because sometimes I, I go to Twitter and I see these updates about how the Biodisc is the most phenomenal, you know, uh, product in the world. Nothing wrong with that specifically, correct? But then, what does that say about you? If I were following you on Twitter and you talk about the Biodisc, why would I be interested in knowing about the Biodisc, right? It, it might turn me off. But if you tell me about how, you know, today you were in VCon and you learned this. I was in a hall filled with 6,000, you know, people who were, you know, whatever, on fire and it rocked the house, blah, blah, blah. That creates interest, right? It's like, hmm. And I'm following you on Twitter and I think, wow, I wonder how, how did that happen? I've never been in a situation like that. It causes them to think. It creates interest in them about what you do without telling them obviously directly what it is that you do. Does that make sense? Yes. Hello? Yes. Okay. My suggestion then to you, okay? Any Facebook uh, users? Facebook users? Don't use Facebook to play games. Mob wars. Poker, right? Don't use it to play games. It's a waste of time. It's a time waster. But use it to strategically, consciously update your status to let people know that, hey, there's growth. There's, you know, uh, there's progress happening. There's interesting things happening in your life. People will get interested in you if they see something in you that they don't have, but that they want to have. All right? All right? So if you want to know more about it, please, you know, uh, uh, like I said, I'm on Facebook. I would love to add you as my friend. I'm on Twitter. Okay, and so, uh, you know, let's do this together and let's do this right. Shall we? Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much.